Hello. In this session, we are solving a problem to determine the fundamental deviations and tolerances in a given fit. The problem stated like this. This is a fit designated as 40 H8 F7. The recommended diameter steps are 30 mm and 50 mm for grades 8 and 7. The tolerance values 25i and 16i respectively. Fundamental deviation for uh, F is given as minus 5.5 into D raised to 0 0.41. Then we have to mention the type of fit. So first we will start from type of fit. So in order to determine the type of fit, we have to give the graphical representation of this fit. This is zero line that is representing the basic size that is 40 mm. Then H8, we know that the H is H4 hole, capital H4 hole is the basic uh, hole and the basic hole is resting just above the zero line. So its fundamental deviation is zero. Then F from this picture, we know that the F is uh, here. So F is placed below the zero line. This is F is representing for the shaft so here we can tell that the shaft is uh, below the hole that is the size of the shaft is less than the size of the hole so it's a clearance fit so the first answer is that if it is clearance fit so step one is completed and in step two we need to determine the value for D. So we know that D minimum is 30 mm and D max is 50 mm. So the D is given as D minimum into D max, root of D minimum into D max. So the value will be that is the root of 30 into 50 uh, will be. The answer should be 38.729 mm. That is the second step. Step 3 is for calculating the fundamental deviations of shaft and hole. And we know that the fundamental deviation. for hole is zero since it is capital H and for shaft an equation is provided like this this is a small of the equation is minus 5.5 d raised to 0 0.41 and d is known so substituting in this equation the value is minus 25 micrometers it is not exactly 25 the exact value will be minus 24.629 microns and that is adjusted to rounded to minus 25 microns this minus sign is for showing that this is lying below the zero line This can be shown as minus 0 0.025 mm. The next step is to determination of tolerances. So in order to find the tolerances, the equation is given. It is 25i and 16i. But we need first we needed to determine the value for this i. So that is the step 4. And I is given as 0 0.05, 0 0.45, cube root of D plus 0 0.001 D. 
this much microns and in this case we can substitute uh, d in mm so the final answer will be in micrometers no need of a conversion no conversions are required so the final in, in instead of in place of d only d is the unknown so we know that what is d and d has to be substituted in this equation and the final answer will be 1.56 micrometer if i is known the tolerance grade of hole is given as hole it is given as h8 so 8 is the tolerance grade and for tolerance finding the tolerance grade for h the equation is given as 25i so 25 into 1.56 microns is equal to 39 micrometers so that is the value for 25i that is representing the tolerance grade h and for tolerance grade for shaft is f7 7 is the grade and for 7 the equation is 16i so we are multiplying uh, i with the 16 then the answer will be 25 micrometers So as of now, we determined the fundamental uh, deviations for both hole and shaft. Then uh, the tolerances. And we needed to determine the limit of sizes. That is the maximum limit of size and minimum limit of size of both hole and shaft. So first we need to construct a graphical representation like this. Then we have to mark all the known values. Uh, the basic size is 40 mm then uh, we know that the fundamental deviation for hole is zero and its uh, tolerance as tolerance is determined as point it is 39 uh, 0.39 microns sorry 39 microns so that is equal to 0.039 mm then we know that the fundamental deviation of f this is the fundamental deviation that is the nearest distance uh, it is given as 0.025 mm or otherwise 25 microns again we determined the tolerance as again 25 microns again that is 0.025 mm so from this uh, we can determine the maximum lift of sizes and minimal lift of sizes of both hole and shaft and we know that the maximum limit of size hole is equal to 40 plus 0 0.039 that is equal to 40.039 mm and the minimum size of hole is equal to fundamental deviation is zero and it is resting on the zero line so it is 40 only Similarly, for shaft, the maximum size is given as uh, this. This is the maximum size, and it is given as forty minus point zero two five, and that is equal to thirty nine point nine seven five mm. And the minimum size of shaft is equal to forty minus this distance we have to detect this much distance and that is equal to 0 0.025 plus 0 0.025 that is 0 0.05 and that is equal to 39.95 mm so these are the maximum size and minimum sizes of the hole and shaft now the problem is completed we know all the sizes of hole and shaft we know all the fundamental deviations and we know all the tolerances thank you for watching